The talking drum is an hourglass shaped drum from West Africa, whose pitch can be regulated to mimic the tone and prosody of human speech. It has two drum heads connected by leather tension cords, which allow the player to modulate the pitch of the drum by squeezing the cords between his or her arm and body. A skilled player is able to play whole phrases. Similar hourglass shaped drums are found in Asia, but they are not used to mimic speech, although the idaka is used to mimic vocal music. Names in West Africa History Hourglass shaped talking drums are some of the oldest instruments used by West African griots, and their history can be traced back to the Yoruba people, the Ghana Empire, and the Hausa people. The Yoruba people of southwestern Nigeria and Benin and the Dagomba of northern Ghana have developed a highly sophisticated genre of griot music centering on the talking drum. Many variants of the talking drums evolved, with most of them having the same construction mentioned above. Soon, many non hourglass shapes showed up and were given special names, such as the dunan, sangban, kankini, fontumfram, and noma drums. Interestingly, this construction is limited to within the contemporary borders of West Africa, with exceptions to this rule being northern Cameroon and western Chad. Areas which have shared populations belonging to groups predominant in their bordering West African countries, such as the Kanuri, Germa, Fulani and Hausa. In Senegalese and Gambian history, the Tama was one of the music instruments used in the Sira people's wound tradition. The Tama drum has Sira religious connotations. In the Kshalat tradition, the Tama makes up the fourth musical drum ensemble. The Sira drums played include Panjal, Lam, Kin, and Tama. From a historical perspective, the Tama was beaten by the Griots of Senegambian kings on special occasions, such as during wars, when the kings wanted to address their subjects, and on special circumstances in Sira country a Euro a call for martyrdom, such as the mayhem at Chilompa and the Battle of Nudaromu where the defeated Syrahs, committed suicide rather than be conquered by the Muslim forces or forced to submit to Islam. Suicide is permitted in Syria religion only if it satisfies the Syrah principle of Jom. The word Jom means honor in the Syrah language. How they talk, the pitch of the drum is varied to mimic the tone patterns of speech. This is done by varying the tension placed on the drum head, the opposing drum heads are connected by a common tension cord. The waist of the drum is held between the player's arm and ribs, so that when squeezed the drum head is tightened, producing a higher note than when it's in its relaxed state. The pitch can be changed during a single beat, producing a warbling note. The drum can thus capture the pitch, volume, and rhythm of human speech, though not the qualities of vowels or consonants. The use of talking drums as a form of communication was noticed by Europeans in the first half of the 18th century. Detailed messages could be sent from one village to the next faster than could be carried by a person riding a horse. In the 19th century Roger T. Clarke, a missionary, realized that the signals represent the tones of the syllables of conventional phrases of a traditional and highly poetic character. Like Chinese, many African languages are tonal. That is, the pitch is important in determining the meaning of a particular word. The problem was how to communicate complex messages without the use of vowels or consonants, simply using tone. An English emigrant to Africa, John F. Carrington, in his 1949 book The Talking Drums of Africa explained how African drummers were able to communicate complex messages over vast distances. Using low tones referred to as male and higher female tones, the drummer communicates through the phrases and pauses, which can travel upwards of 4 euro 5 miles. This process may take eight times longer than communicating a normal sentence but was effective for telling neighboring villages of possible attacks or ceremonies. He found that to each short word which was beaten on the drums was added an extra phrase, which would be redundant in speech but provided context to the core drum signal. Equals example equals, the message come back home might be translated by the drummers as, make your feet come back the way they went, make your legs come back the way they went plant your feet and your legs below, in the village which belongs to us. Single words would be translated into phrases. For example, moon would be played as the moon looks towards earth, and war is war which causes attention to ambushes. 
the extra phrases provide a context in which to make sense of the basic message or drum beats. These phrases could not be randomized, when learning to play the drum students were taught the particular phrase that coincided with each word. This reason alone made learning to talk in drum language very difficult and not many were willing to take the time to do so. The extra drum beats reduce the ambiguity of the meaning. The irony was that by the time the West understood the mechanism of the drums they began to diminish in use in Africa. It was also not uncommon for words to lose their meaning. In an interview with Carrington he explained that when words aren't used often the phrases that correspond to them are forgotten. When given the beat for young girl the drummers thought the phrase played was in fact the one for fishing nets. As emphasized by Finnegan, the messages sent via drums were not confined to utilitarian messages with a marginally literary flavor. Drum languages could also be used for specifically literary forms, for proverbs, panegyrics, historical poems, dirges, and in some cultures practically any kind of poetry. The ritualized forms and drum names constituted a type of oral literature. Among some peoples such as the Ashanti or the Yoruba, drum language and literature were very highly developed. In these cultures, drumming tended to be a specialized and often hereditary activity, and expert drummers with a mastery of the accepted vocabulary of drum language and literature were often attached to a King Euro unregistered trademark escort. Talking drum variants equals dimensions equals various sizes of hourglass talking drum exist, with the dimensions of the drum differing between ethnic groups but all following the same template. The Tama of the Sira, Wolof and Mandinka peoples is typified by its smaller dimensions, having a total drum length typical of 13 cm with a 7 cm drum head diameter. This produces a much higher pitch tone than other talking drums of the same construction. The Yoruba and Dagomba peoples on the other hand have some of the largest dimensions for drums in their Luna and R to the first Ndawen ensembles, with a length typical of 23 a euro 38 centimeters and a drum head diameter of between 10 a euro 18 centimeters. In Yoruba talking drum ensembles, this is used alongside smaller talking drums similar to the Tama, called Gangan in Yoruba language. Equals playing styles equals, playing styles are closely linked with the drum's construction and the tonal qualities of each language. There is a clear difference in playing styles between areas with predominantly Fulani in man speaking populations and traditionally non manned areas further east. The predominant style of playing in areas further west, such as Senegal, Gambia, Western Mali, and Guinea, is characterized by rapid rolls and short bursts of sound between the stick holding hand and accompanying free hand, and correlates with the various pitch accent and non tonal languages heard in this area. This is a style typically heard in the popular Mbalax genre of Senegal. From eastern Mali, Burkina Faso and Ghana, towards Niger, western Chad and Nigeria, the playing style of the talking drum is centered on producing long and sustained notes by hitting the drum head with a stick holding hand and the accompanying free hand used to dampen and change tones immediately after being hit. This produces a rubbery sounding texture to its playing which mimics the heavy and complex tones used in languages from this area. This characteristic style can be clearly heard in the popular music of this area, particularly in those where the talking drum is the lead instrument, such as Fuji music of the Yoruba of Nigeria. Use in popular music, in the 20th century the talking drum became a part of popular music in West Africa. It is used in playing Mbalax music of Senegal and in Fuji and Jar to the first Jar music of Nigeria. King Crimson used the talking drum on their album, Lax Tongues in Aspic, for the track The Talking Drum. Tom Waits has used the talking drum on his song Troubles Braids, a track from the album Swordfish Tom Bones. Erika Bader used the talking drum on her song My People, from the album New America Part 1. Saikiru Adepaja is a master of the talking drum from Nigeria who has collaborated with artists from The Grateful Dead to Stevie Wonder and Carlos Santana. Nana Vasconcelos, master of percussion, started playing the talking drum in the early 80s and has used it ever since. Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac has used the talking drum on the track while turning on the band's 1975 eponymously titled album, and in concert performances of the song. In popular culture, 
In the game series Patapan the player is a god who communicates with his or her followers using four talking drums. Each has its own unique sound, Pata, Pon, Don and Cherka. In the television series Dead Like Me, the talking drum is discussed as a means of celebrating the lives of the dead. You can also hear them in the 1959 movie The Nun Story, starring Audrey Hepburn, when she arrives in what was at the time the Belgian Congo. Bill Kreutz Mann, a drummer for the Grateful Dead, occasionally played a talking drum at the band's live shows during the drums segment of their shows in the second set. Drum names, in some ethnic groups, each individual was given a drum name. Examples from among the Bulu of Cameroon are even if you dress up finely, love is the only thing, or the giant wood rat has no child, the house rat has no child. Talking drum players sent messages by drumming the recipient's name, followed by the sender's name and the message. See also, drum. Notes. References. French, Gregrand, Henry, La Civilisation Syria Euro Pangol, Volume 2. Les Nouvelles Editions Africaines du Senegal, 1990, pages 40, 48 to Euro 49, ISBN 2723610551. Pata, Pon, Don Cherka, 1982, 3 e trimester 1982, 2, English, Juf, Al Orgia Louis Brimacham, Senegambia, The Land of Our Heritage, French, Sa, A Lyon, Histoire du Saint Salum, Introduction, Bibliographie et Notes par Charles Becker, Bulletin de l'Institut Fondamental de Frique Noire, Tome 46, Serie B, Now Degree 3 a Euro 4, 1986 a Euro 1987, pages 42. Drum Telegraphy. Time, September 21, 1942. Online version access November 7, 2006. External links, video of Nigerian talking drum, known as a dun dun, about 8 minutes, video of Senegalese talking drum, known as a tama male in the talking drum from Africa YouTube, Erika Bader used the talking drum on her song My People, from the album New America Part 1. Saikiru Adepajab is a master of the talking drum from Nigeria who has collaborated with artists from The Grateful Dead to Stevie Wonder and Carlos Santana. Nana Vasconcelos, master of percussion, started playing the talking drum in the early 80s and has used it ever since. Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac has used the talking drum on the track while turning on the band's 1975 eponymously titled album, and in concert performances of the song A Tape and the Player is a God who communicates with his or her followers using four talking drums. Each has its own unique sound, Pata, Pon, Don and Cherka. In the television series Dead Like Me, the talking drum is discussed as a means of celebrating the lives of the dead. You can also hear them in the 1959 movie The Nun Story, starring Audrey Hepburn, when she arrives in what was at the time the Belgian Congo. Bill Kreutz Mann, a drummer for The Grateful Dead, occasionally played a talking drum at the band's live shows during the drums segment of their shows in the second set. Drum names, edit in some ethnic groups, each individual was given a drum name. Examples from among the Bulu of Cameroon are even if you dress up finely, love is the only thing, or the giant wood rat has no child, the house rat has no child. Talking drum players sent messages by drumming the recipient's name, followed by the sender's name and the message caught. Talking drum variants, edit dimensions, edit various sizes of hourglass talking drum exist, with the dimensions of the drum differing between ethnic groups, but all following the same template. The Tama of the Sira, Wolof and Mandinka peoples is typified by its smaller dimensions, having a total drum length typical of 13 cm with a 7 cm drum head diameter. This produces a much higher pitch tone than other talking drums of the same construction. The Yoruba and Dagomba peoples on the other hand have some of the largest dimensions for drums in their Lunga and Da to the first and Dawen ensembles, with a length typical of 23 a Euro 38 centimeters and a drum head diameter of between 10 a Euro 18 centimeters. In Yoruba talking drum ensembles, this is used alongside smaller talking drums similar to the Tama, 
called Gangan in Yoruba language. Senegalese Tama player, Yamath Iam of the Finnish group Galaxy, performing at the Imatra Big Band Festival at Imatra, July 2005 Playing styles, edit playing styles are closely linked with the drums construction and the tonal qualities of each language. There is a clear difference in playing styles between areas with predominantly Fulani in man-speaking populations and traditionally non-manned areas further east. The predominant style of playing in areas further west such as Senegal, Gambia, Western Mali and Guinea is characterized by rapid rolls and short bursts of sound between the stick holding hand and accompanying free hand, and correlates with the various pitch accent and non-tonal languages heard in this area. This is a style typically heard in the popular Mbalax genre of Senegal. From eastern Mali, Burkina Faso and Ghana, towards Niger, western Chad and Nigeria, the playing style of the talking drum is centered on producing long and sustained notes by hitting the drum head with a stick holding hand and the accompanying free hand used to dampen and change tones immediately after being hit. This produces a rubbery sounding texture to its playing which mimics the heavy and complex tones used in languages from this area. This characteristic style can be clearly heard in the popular music of this area, particularly in those where the talking drum is the lead instrument, such as Fuji music of 